<laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be hard to talk. It's gonna be funny in a sense, it's gonna be funny talking about my story and hearing this in the background. <laughs> it's just weird. All right, just start start talking about it, dude. All right, hold on. Just count me in, and like count. Oh fuck! Let me take a drink. And after I take a drink and I say okay, then count from ten down, and then I'll start. All right, okay. Man. Hopefully no, no, no. Let me take a drink first. Oh, I'm nervous. Ugh, damn it, Dan. I was there. All right. Take it a drink. <laughs> it's going to be hard not to laugh at this shit in the background. <laughs> I think we got to drop back down onto that little... On that part of the bridge. Alright. Start from 10. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Just a cat. Everything was like, damn, this is decent looking. This is cool. Blah, blah, blah. But, but little did I fucking know that she was a wolf in sheep's fucking clothing. And, uh, so I get to her house. Everything fucking changes. Like, I walk inside and I just couldn't believe my eyes. There's piles of shit everywhere. There's trash everywhere. There's people everywhere. Um, the filth, the stench in the house smelled like a thousand cats. Like, smelled like evil darkness, like haunted, I don't know. And all she did was yell at me and treat me like shit. And I had my dog with me and she'd treat him like shit. And like, I met like so many of her boyfriends, it was her ex-boyfriends, it was crazy. And all these guy friends and she was just a fucking nutbag, dude. And, like, she threatened to fucking eat my organs one time. She said she hopes my insides rot one time. Jeez, man. I swear she could have, she would have killed me in my sleep if she could have. Like, I feel like if I was ever in the same room with someone that would have ever probably hurt me while I was asleep, she would be one of them. And it would just be for no reason at all, just for her pleasure, just for her needing attention. And then, say if I ever disagreed with her, like, that's one time she had, you know, she had car troubles. And she, all she did was talk about her exes, too, like, constantly. So, I mean, yeah, that Yeah, and, and uh, tell them about um, her ex yeah. uh, having the same name as you. Yeah, and he had the same name as me, you know, that's all she, she would talk about. And then she had car troubles, and... She, for whatever reason, decided to call this dude, and she would brag about, you know, and she used to sleep with him and this and that, and I told her, well, it kind of makes me uncomfortable that he's coming over, fix your car, can't we just go get it, you know, take it somewhere else? Before I could <clears throat> finish, she starts blowing up on me, she gets out of the car screaming at me in front of the street, in front of the neighbors, saying I'm a jealous freak and all this other stuff just because I oh my was talking. Like I'm talking to y'all right now saying, hey, you know, this makes me uncomfortable. Can we figure out something else? Because she swore she loved me. We were engaged at this point. And she just blows up on me. 
as if like I kicked their cat or something. You know what I mean? Like, mm. <clears throat> and it makes me look like a piece of shit in front of her neighbors and kids and all that shit and threatening me and. Oh, tell them about the kids. Yeah, okay, I'll get everybody to kick your ass and all this shit for nothing. Like she was just went off, what? like she was on drugs or something. I don't know. What'd you say? I said, tell them about the kids. Man, the one kid threatened to cut my fucking head off one time because his, his guitar accidentally got knocked over and, and it wasn't even really my fault. It was the dogs that was running by me. I tripped a little bit. And this fucking 11 year old kid was like, oh, I'm cut your head off or some crazy shit. And I'm like, I gotta get out of this house. Like, who are these people? Really? Like, I don't know. They were a cult. Like, they were really in the dark shit. <clears throat> She always had people over there, and it was just crazy. I had to get out of there. I kept calling everybody, get you know, get me the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be here anymore. There's some fucked up shit going on. Like I've never, I've been through some fucked up relationships, but I've never been treated. I don't know that mm -hmm. was. I felt like children of the corn. Like I did, it was like being in a spider web. You do one thing and move one way, everything's gonna know about. It. You're always being watched. Right. You're, you can't talk on the phone without somebody freaking out on you. It's nuts. Right. Like it got to the point where I just wanted to kill myself. Over it. it was, I needed to escape that. And I'm lucky I didn't because I was like, fuck it, you know. But, yeah. Glad I got away from that, and it was a lesson learned to look out for red flags. Huh, yeah. Look out, look out for. Don't believe everything you hear, folks. Like people are gonna tell you they love you and this and that to get you where they want you. Not to mention, she made sure my wallet was empty when she was done with me, and I filled up her fridge with food and all that, and she hey, treated me like garbage afterwards. Right. But you know what? At the end of the day, you live and you learn. And that's all cut. All right.